Uh, our next case comes from Alex J. May it please the justices of the Supreme Court. <laughs> but not the bailiff. <laughs> not the bailiff. All right. <laughs> the bailiff have, be miffed. <laughs> yes. And he is. Uh, I have a home game with my parents and my 91-year-old grandma Whoa. based Whoa. around the Candlekeep Mysteries. My Ooh. grandmother is playing a half-elf College of Lore storytelling bard who I created a custom spell for to summon either a hero, a stat block soldier guildmaster's guide, a mage, stat block apprentice wizard from Volos, mm -hmm. or a thief, stat block nightblade from Baldur's Gate. Cool. However, cool. she insists that because she's magic, <laughs> she should be able to blast him with magic. <laughs> I tried explaining to her. <laughs> I have to say, this is, down. So, this is so hard because I don't have any grandparents and I would so <laughs> desperately love to play with a grandparent. She's 91. <laughs> okay, so she, wait, she thinks pe she yeah. should be able to blast people? Go on. Mm -hmm. I tried explaining to her why bards are good, <gasps> i.e. cutting words, bardic inspiration, and high charisma roles. My question to you You've is should I just lost, budget fool. and let her use the Eldritch Blast or should I hold her to the rules <laughs> like the rest of the party? <laughs> I think, okay, I am weighing in hard. I think you need to have a session with your grandma, ask her what, ask her what she wants to do, and create a whole new class <laughs> yeah, for her. No, well, oh, this is, Emily, this is, there's a, one more sentence, which is, P.S. I rolled her a new character as a reborn Hexblade warlock with a pact to the Raven Queen for more offensive character, uh, but she wanted to stay a bard. <laughs> okay. Well, I just, think I that you just create a new character, <laughs> create a new class, and call it a bard. <laughs> yep. She is yep. right. Grandma is right. <laughs> grandma does whatever just, she wants. This chaotic grandma is so foreign to me I and any semblance of a grandparent I've ever known. It's almost like I think I would like fudge the rules for a grandma more than a child, even because that oh, child yeah. just yeah. like. They kind Grandma of doesn't have any learn learning to do shit. left. Yeah. Grandma is it is doing her fucking victory lap. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Ninety one like, years let young. Let her be a fucking fire slinging bard. Yeah. Grandma can a ride a dragon bard. if Grandma wants to. They didn't have games when she was a child. <laughs> 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 there was just Holy a ball shit, in a that's cup. True. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> like they maybe had Parcheesi. She they might have had Tiddlywinks. Hoop and stick. Like, they must have had, had a hoop and a stick. They had a hoop and a stick. Here's also and my suggestion: is I really think that you should be custom making spells for her all along the way. <laughs> if she says yeah. she wants to blast, give her a character sheet, and one of the things is blast. <laughs> right. <laughs> give it's... Grandma a dice that only has twenties on it. I, yeah, I just want to see Grandma be like, "All right, I blast him." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we've got another case that uh, kind of relates to unruly players. This one comes from Paul H. Mm. Uh, they write, judges and justices. May I? May it please the court. They didn't write that. I'm adding it in. Good, I stand good, before good. you wow. pleading. I know. Your, assist, <laughs> your assistance in resolving this matter. It is the case of DM versus Taruk. I am DMing a game for my father-in-law, brother-in-law, and a friend. Oh, my brother -in -law, so cute. Wow. I family. Love nice. family affairs. Stuff. Uh, my brother-in-law decided to play a lawful evil tiefling warlock named Taruk. Hmm. He had been causing problems for weeks, so when it came time for the villain, for the villain that they were fighting, Murph's, I just watched Murph's eyes narrow with anger as he said, "Lawful evil." Well, lawful evil. I'm still gonna give them the benefit of the doubt, but anytime it's just like I'm evil, you know that hmm. they're going to be a problem. <laughs> um, when when I first heard TikTok's name, when I first heard Link Pinky Stinky, I protested <laughs> out loud. Law, lawful evil gets a narrowing of the eyes. Um, and, and DM a, instinct is so strong. And I love it. Runt. Um, I, well, I, 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 no, I think Murph is, uh, you'll, you'll okay. see. Um, <laughs> He had been causing problems for weeks, so when it came time for the villain that they were fighting to give his cliché speech about joining him to take over the world, Taruk accepted the offer, so the BBEG <laughs> took Taruk and teleported away. Okay. I, cool. asked for I, Taruk's, like I asked for Taruk's character sheet, since he was now evil. My brother-in-law argued that he should become the BBEG and the, and the DM, since he took the <laughs> what? deal. <laughs> who, who is right? Should he become the DM? No! If, no! <laughs> Make him walk the plank, this fucking mutineer. Crazy. Get him out of here! I have never heard a coup happen before at a DM. He's related, not related to my blood. <laughs> so, you, 
fun of your fucking team. father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I guess it's probably his dad. Right. No, wait, I think it's his, it's his brother-in-law. It's his brother-in-law and his father-in-law. So it's I think right. it's the they're, father-in-law's they're father and son. son. Right? No, I, oh! I think brother-in-law and wait, father-in-law. That would make sense. Right. Yeah. My brother-in-law and my father-in-law. It would so be like it... me playing D and D with um, <laughs> Emily's dad and her brother, right? Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so those two, they're teaming up. They're teaming right. up against his four DM. No good. He's just at like his in-laws' house, and they're just like, "Fuck you, I'm the DM now." <laughs> <laughs> they can seem like being the DM is winning the game when it's just it's just helping the game. The game. That's now. what I'm gonna say. Is this guy? This guy? You should just let him be yes, the DM. Yeah. He's immediately gonna it pass it. it back to you and be like wait a second this is a lot of work right. <laughs> yeah you spent 40 hours this week uh prepping the session yeah i was gonna say this feels like kind of a nightmare situation and mm-hmm. i wouldn't want to play with this person or rather wouldn't want to dm for this person because it's a lot of work just let them dm um yeah let them you DM spend an and... hour screen capping stat locks. let them dm and they will find out truly how much work it is yeah and just uh <laughs> Create a new campaign with people who don't play evil characters. <laughs> and I'm the DM now. He's going to run. Okay. The fact that this guy took over, the fact that this guy was like, I joined the big bad guy. And I think that that's what makes me the DM now means that like, he's just, I don't even understand his concept of <laughs> where <laughs> this is going to. If it was something that they talked about, sure. That could be an interesting move, but like mm-hmm. it's, so wild. <laughs> they, I mean, they were a problem when they were just a PC that yeah. was evil. Like he, he's going to be a merc. Like I don't think it's going to be fun when he's DM either. Like Certainly he's just not. fucking. He just wants to kill everyone. But maybe he but, just wants to be the DM because he seems to want to be like adversarial. Mm-hmm. So, but that's not what a fucking DM should be, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. I know, but. It seems better than being on the same team. <laughs> uh, to me, it seems like maybe you, you let you let him try it out, but also you let this person be like the the star scream to your Megatron, where they're like this conniving little like whiny villain that's like trying to usurp the main villain, uh, and then maybe like you let them try it out and then they fail and then you take over again. I don't I don't know. I'm trying to find a situation where you salvage any of this and I'm not coming up with anything. Yeah, good. I, I personally know. would not fucking imagine how much they would fucking fuck you over if you were like, yeah, so you're kind of like you're kind of like the the big bad guy sidekick. They would just start saying shit and you would just have to be like, no, that that's not true. That's not <laughs> what true. If, what if you're just like, okay, you're going to be the big bad guy. You're going to DM that like big boss fight uh but in te- but that's not happening now so until we get there you have to play but why would a you... new good mm. character why be nice to this maniac well because then they might see they'll have a couple sessions playing a good guy and they'll be like oh they're, no, not, they're going, definitely I not rolling another, another fucking dick. good guy mm. i think you I'm sorry, immediately I the best pivot. In Taruk, you know <laughs> i think you immediately are like cool um okay you're the dm now and then you let it play out however it plays out. They're going to find out it's a lot of work. They're going to find out it's a lot of like, there are a lot of skills that you need to experiment with and get better at. And if they if they love it, I guess cool, start your start another one. And But chances are, I would think that someone who's, I think that someone who's like, I'm lawful evil is kind of, there are some selfish players. This sounds like a selfish player. Mm. And I will be very honest. The, like Selfish DMs are the most fucking boring to play for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I propose is- an alternate plan? Yeah. Uh, tattle to the dad. The dad knows. Just Tell on the dad. There. The, t- dad's, the dad's fucking aching him on, man. No, no, no. The dad's part of it. I think the dad loves like to fully, <laughs> fully take the dad aside and be like, you got a shit, son. You got to work on this board. Okay. Wow. And a like, great son-in-law, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All is not lost. I can fill his shoes. At the very least, I'm I think here. you could be like, you are you're the DM now and be like, here are my notes and give them some like kind of forged notes. Like some oh. some last way that oh, you can Oh, don't, don't give them any notes. Don't let them feel anything. special. Just give them like, nothing. Fuck you fine. It's your game now. Uh and let them I think th- just be like, okay, it's your game. Armor. Hey, I rolled, and then come up with like a really fucking good character that you know they're gonna, that you like know the rules front to back so that you can be like, 
completely like anytime that they try to say no that doesn't work because i don't feel like that working oh you just yeah have- you guys are probably pretty high level so you should just mm. make the most annoying character yeah. in his game in his and game what was that broken class that you were gonna do that was like that oh uh warlock coffee lock thing? coffee no. lock well, oh yeah coffee so it's like a pact of lock. the tome pact of the tome uh warlock mixed with sorcerer and you basically like and there's also sorcerers have some or is it sorcerers there's someone that had a feat i don't know if it was unearthed unearthed arcana or if it went into canon but like there was something that that like it was like a sorcerer aberrant mind thing i want to think that was like that Mm. let you take a short rest um in like a minute or something like that so Shit. you basically do this like pack to the tome so you, so you don't have to sleep so you're just constantly uh getting more and more uh sorcery points wow. <laughs> that you can turn into spell like getting uh warlock spells that you can then turn into sorcery points yeah yeah it's do so that. broken and it would be so annoying and technically i think they've weighed in that it's like not allowed but if you just look at rules as written, it'd be it's pretty hard to argue and against. And this person is probably Caldwell's not the raw the rules. judge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And this person, yeah. <laughs> I, I would I mean, I, I think I, you know, I sympathize with this person um because I I understand that it's hard to get a group together to play D D. So they're probably trying to yeah, salvage the situation because mm-hmm. they like DMing and they've got this story and they want to do it. I think the real kind of non-joke answer is it's just not going to work with this crew if this is this kind of situation. So I would suggest that um, Un- not to... Unless letting them DM ends up being a slightly humbling experience. But that's what I'm saying is like, you might as well let them DM because the other thing I would tell you to do is to stop playing with them. <laughs> right. There's nothing yeah. to... You have nothing to lose. Yeah. This game is already broken. You can yeah. be the D- you can be a player for Taruk and see what happens. The court will actually enter a brief recess uh, wherein I will okay. give you guys an update oh, from Paul God. H. Um, who, oh, who has an updates. update from the big bad evil brother in law <gasps> Taruk the Tiefling. Um, oh, okay. it pleases the court. Yeah, <laughs> if this pleases the court. Judges and justices, may it please the court. Thank me, you, please, me, please, me, um, please. An update from Tarek the Tiefling, the DM. I took your advice and let my brother-in-law be the DM. When I texted him, all he responded with was, okay, bet. I rolled my coffee lock and was ready for the session. At the beginning of the session, he told us to be prepared for a TPK. When we started the opening session, when we started, he opened the session all smug and cocky. His opening line was, welcome back. I hope you don't care about your characters because you will be rolling new ones tonight, which I thought was potentially cool. I was interested to see where he wanted to take it. I'm eating this up. He took us to a new town, which didn't have a name, and he just put us in the town center with no plot hooks or anything. So we went to the tavern and only the bartender was in the tavern. Kind of weird. That could be an issue. Nope, he just didn't put anyone in the town. (laughs) Then we left the tavern after the human bartender named Tim gave us nothing. (laughs) Then there he was in the town center. Taruk was in the town square (laughs) looking, quote, more badass and fiendish than ever. And then my brother-in-law said, get ready for a TPK. There is no way you were surviving this. The combat lasted six rounds. We didn't get downed. Taruk got whomped. Then after the fight, we were ready to continue the session, but he didn't have anything because he said, I was, I was so sure I was going to kill you all. I don't have anything else. He then said, Paul, you can be the DM again. Then he got up and took his usual seat, <laughs> leaving the DM spot. Oh, oh my God. This like incredible. needs to be like a short film. I want to this... watch this like uncomfortable story play out i just want to i wish i could have seen his face (laughs) throughout this whole thing it's also so funny because like one of like the early things that you are that you read all the time and you're like no 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 i'm pretty sure i can i could do it though is everyone's like don't make don't roll a character as a bad guy use that because they're not well-rounded enough it doesn't matter what 
level they are, it's not going to be a good fight. It's going to be bad. They're going to get killed. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so, so funny. I'm so happy that this all worked out yes. exactly as we, so as we said. It Justice really prevailed. It was just two just just completely once. prevailed. And this person <laughs> is so sweet, too, because you listen as they are talking about it. They're oh. like, they were like, they were like, oh, it sounded yeah. kind of fun. Every turn. Sounds, he, sounds fun. They were giving Tarek the benefit of the doubt every <laughs> single turn. <laughs> Oh yes. my god! Can you imagine? I, it's so I I can only imagine his brother-in-law just, being just like having just wearing like a duster and a Slipknot shirt and just being like, <laughs> just you fucking wait until you meet my fucking PC. I love that. No there one was... being no one in the town, just no, no work on anyone and except for your badass dude named Tim. <laughs> so so funny! Just be like, no, no one's there. No one's just, there. No, dropped you, you in the Maybe you should go outside. Maybe Wait, you he's just check. so amped. All he wants to do is fucking kill you guys with his cool character. <laughs> oh, the best part is just picturing like the look on his face when he said, Paul, you can be the DM again. <laughs> oh my Got God. it out of his system. Like fully oh. flushed. Just 100% success. Congratulations. That yes. is just so funny. The flagrant lack of effort. <laughs> In designing everything, except for how cool his dude is, <laughs> bragging so much and then just getting whomped. I will say, good on that dude. Yeah. I, I'm honestly shocked that the DM didn't lie. That's what I was thinking too. Everything like, else, I'm like, I'm surprised he didn't just pretend to roll 50 nat 20s. Yeah. You know what? You know what? There's honor, uh, even in the darkest places. Yes, honor like amongst maybe nut cases. He... <laughs> Maybe he genuinely just didn't ever think about what went into being the DM yeah. and really likes to play and fight and like never mm. really considered it and just assumed, oh, the DM must be the best player. That's yeah. how they get mm. to be the DM. <laughs> and then suddenly sitting there, they were like, no, Wait the DM does, the, does all the work. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just picturing Tarek the Tieflink just like not even using spells or anything, just multi-attacking each time as if that's going to work. <laughs> Oh, just attack again. It's so brilliant. This is yeah. incredible. It feels good. All right, I thank really... you. I've been fed. I've been fed. I love that so much. My throat oh, that hurts was from cackling. <laughs> good on you, Paul. Okay, court. Court is back in session. Okay, now uh, I have a a. A final update from Taruk. Uh, oh, God. oh God! I love the I song love. continues. <laughs> it's I love. I, I got to warn you guys up front. That he, Taruk kind of goes out with a whimper, which it's so <laughs> alas. But it, it's nice to it's nice to bring it all home. Yeah. Um, Paul H writes, "Lords and ladies, and everyone of the court, I stand before mm -hmm. you with the end of the Taruk the Tiefling saga. The end. <laughs> the end. After I became DM again, we watched. <laughs> we scheduled another session. I was hyped. I planned all week, and I thought I came up with some pretty good stuff. Then it was the day. I showed up early and got all set up. Taruk was running a bit late, so he wasn't home quite yet. When he got home, all he said was, "Oh, did I not tell you guys? I quit. I'm not playing anymore." Then he left his own house. <laughs> I still see him weekly, but he refuses to acknowledge his quitting. It's just weird tension now. There is no case I wanted to. I just wanted to let you guys know the conclusion of the oh saga. Oh my god! Okay, once Left again, his own house. Once salt again, the, the story of Jeruk. He is like an uncomfortable, depressing short film. <laughs> this is every like every time you can like take a different direction. It's just like he just I don't know. He he limbo's under under the bar. There's no bigger power move than leaving your own house. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Shout out to Paul H who has consistently made sure to point out the funniest details in every single <laughs> yeah. update. I know. Big time. If he, if he just said he left, it wouldn't be nearly as funny But leaving his own house. <laughs> he left his own house. But this, my guess is that this dude maybe lives at home and it's his and his dad is the father-in-law. Because remember, because mm -hmm. this is this is him playing with his brother-in-law and his father-in-law. I love that we're having to piece together <laughs> this family tree. Just being left at the tree. table with 
with your father-in-law you're just sitting there it's like oh i guess yeah <laughs> so it's i just also us. love that there's like no explanation for this dude's behavior because i i feel like I and feel... also we only know him by his character's name <laughs> um, i feel like if i like was playing D D with like your dad and your brother and your brother was like insane me and your dad would be like um what are you doing yes! like there would be like uh you know we would be like let's acknowledge that this is strange <laughs> I just need to know where did Taruk go? Because like D and D takes a long time. It's not like he just like went and sat in the Wendy's parking lot. Or maybe he did for I think four he hours. Took, I think he took a long, aimless walk and like worked out some stuff. He just shadow boxed around the block. He's just like nurking nursing a little egg of despair. <laughs> I want to think that he like he went around like ran around the block in like a uh, Bradley Cooper in uh, Silver Linings Playbook uh, trash yeah, bag trash jumper. Bag. <laughs> he could have he could have run a marathon in the time it takes to run a session. Or just like went and like <laughs> took like a wood axe to cinder blocks or something in the backyard. Yeah. Uh, it's really just a kid taking his toys and going home. Yep. I'm like, I'm mm. very sorry for you, Paul H. However, you clearly have a sense of humor about it because it's every true. update is. Yeah. yeah. Totally and really this saga it. has brought us and, and a lot of people joy. So. It's, also, it, it's just always baffling to me because Paul, like, Paul, the way the way Paul is writing, I'm like, I could be I could be friends with them. And this, yeah. and yet. Paul is very nice about the whole Tarok situation. <laughs> when I hear it, I'm like, this person is a fucking nightmare. I don't yeah. know how you even have dinner with them. It's insane. I, I mean, I, bless I, Paul. Paul is always like, I, I was hyped. I was excited. Yes, I thought bless, it was going to be good. Bless like, Paul. Bless, me, bless Paul. Paul, because I really think he is like handling the situation of having a weird uh, s like sibling-in-law mm -hmm. with Grace. <laughs> good Lord. Do y'all think that we could fix Taruk? No. Like us four? Like, could we go in there and just like whip him into shape? Could we be like the, the queer eye for D&D &D players? We have, yeah, we could have Taruk do a guest arc. Like, I feel Taruk. like there are just like maybe better people to see in this world. Yeah. I think we, this is strange because this is just an update, but I think we need to sentence Taruk again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sentence him to eternally run laps and a yeah, Bradley just never allowed. garbage yeah. suit. <laughs> you must leave your home forever. Go on a um, Okay. Dan R. writes, may it please the court. My players were fighting several demons in a small underground room. Or I'm, I'm so sorry. I just got really distracted by something. What? And I can't even listen to what you're saying. <laughs> what is he what is distracted it? by? I, it's just so stupid. But I just was like... I was like, mm, you know what? I should have sentenced Taruk to get blasted by the grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, I was like, I heard the word conjure and I was like, fuck, this relates to a case. I'm supposed to listen. Grandma nope. kindly does have Taruk energy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And it would be really funny. That's who needs to whip Taruk mm -hmm. into shape. Yeah. Can we make the grandma our executioner? Yeah. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> she can blast to rook. I'm so sorry. Go on. <laughs> no, I, th that was a, a worthy, worthy interruption. <laughs> Definitely. Um, <laughs> so Dan writes, may it please the court, my players were playing.